protecting the nation from foreign terrorist entry into the United States is not the catchiest name for President Donald Trump's latest executive order. President Trump says the Secretary of State shall suspend the U.S. Refugee Admissions Program for 120 days. I hereby proclaim that the entry of nationals of Syria as refugees is detrimental to the interest of the United States and thus suspend any such entry. Following the announcement, commercial news outlets report on the president's Muslim ban that affects seven nations, six of which are not mentioned in Trump's executive order. You have to go to the Department of Homeland Security to learn about the seven nations. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security says for the next 90 days, nearly all travelers, except U.S. citizens traveling from Iraq, Syria, Sudan, Iran, Somalia, Libya, and Yemen will be temporarily suspended from entry to the United States. CNN says in December 2015, President Obama signed into law a measure placing limited restrictions on certain travelers who had visited Iran, Iraq, Sudan, or Syria. Two months later, the Obama administration added Libya, Somalia, and Yemen to the list in what it called an effort to address the growing threat from foreign terrorist fighters. The Obama list of seven dangerous nations is exactly the same as the Trump list of seven dangerous nations. Like, like a, a chapter, chapter straight, straight out of the, the Holy Bible, Bible comes the, the battle of the, the bands, bands and bombs. And bombs. PolitiFact reports Jill Stein, the Green Party presidential nominee, said of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, they don't have a solution to the expanding wars except more wars. We are already bombing seven countries. CNN reports here are seven places where the Obama administration is known to have ordered airstrikes. Afghanistan, Pakistan, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, Iraq, and Syria. In 2016, PolitiFact said the Bureau of Investigative Journalism's accounts by country indicated the latest U.S. drone strike in Pakistan occurred in May 2016. The latest strike in Somalia was in September 2016. And the latest U.S. strikes in Yemen and Afghanistan were in October 2016. The Department of Defense said that countries, including the U.S., battling the Islamic State, have conducted 15,634 airstrikes to date, 10,129 in Iraq, 5,505 in Syria, with the U.S. conducting 6,868 in Iraq and 5,227 in Syria. In August 2016, the New York Times reported the U.S. had stepped up a new bombing campaign against the Islamic State in Libya. On Democracy Now! in 2016, journalist Glenn Greenwald discusses the foreign policies of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. You have President Obama, who himself has been very militaristic. He has bombed seven predominantly Muslim countries in the last seven years. And yet, Secretary Clinton's critique of his foreign policy is, in every case, that he's not aggressive enough. He's not militaristic enough. Regarding Trump, Greenwald says, in one sense, He's calling for more limited involvement in Syria by limiting the United States military action only to ISIS and letting the Russians handle everything else. But on the other hand, he's calling for massive bombing, the use of torture, other forms of war crimes and killing, targeting terrorist suspects, family members in order to fight ISIS. And so it's very difficult to say whether it's more militaristic or less. President Obama bombed seven nations in 2016, including Iraq, Syria, Somalia, Libya, Yemen, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. President Trump's 90-day U.S. travel ban prohibits travelers from Iraq, Syria, Somalia, Libya, Yemen, Sudan, and Iran. So which is worse, bans or bombs? Somehow, the choice isn't clear.